I'm Daniel Fisher here at Sweetwater Sound. Today we're going to take another deep dive into the DeepMind 12 by Behringer. Today we're going to be looking at the control voltage input, foot controller input, and the sustain controller input, and all of the various things you can do with them. All right, so first we'll talk about the sustain pedal jack. Um, right now I have a standard normally open pedal in it. If I step on it, it sustains. I can go into global and I can change that to a normally closed, which means you can use that with pretty much any pedal out there. Um, another neat thing it does though is if you're in an arpeggiation or sequence mode, um, it switches back and forth between hold mode on and off. So I can, and I let go, it's gone. But if I touch one time, you'll see that the tap hold now is locked on. more press turns it off so that's very convenient. Um, if you go back the next thing is tap tempo and since I have normally open I'm going to use NO for normally open. So now I can play a little sequence and after I tap five times it will pick up that tempo. You can also set it to ARP gate, and what that does is it steps you forward one time in the arpeggiation. So if I hold something here, you'll hear nothing until I press the pedal. I can also set it for sequence and gate, it'll, it'll step the sequencer forward, and I can have it at ARP and, and gate, so now the ar arpeggiator and sequencer and the gate are all being triggered by the sustain pedal. So very, very powerful from a single switch. Um, the next thing is your pedal, which you can set to various outputs, uh, foot controller, mod wheel, breath, volume, expression. So the other jack, uh, the foot controller and CV input, um, obviously allows you to connect a standard uh, foot controller. This is a Yamaha FC7 with a tip ring sleeve plug. Um, and what that does in here in the global is you can choose what MIDI controller is being sent when you sweep the pedal. So right now it's at foot controller, which means that if I go into a program and go into mod and make foot controller a source, I can move whatever parameter it's set to. Right now it's set to voltage controlled filter frequency. So if I hold a chord, Now you probably noticed that it got louder as the filter opened up. And so we can do something about that. We just use another one of the mod matrixes and we make it also be foot controller, but this time the destination will be voltage controlled amplifier and we'll go negative. So now what will happen is as I sweep the pedal, it will get brighter, but it'll also get a little bit quieter. I'm going to use the same chord for comparison. And now just to show you the extreme, I'm going to turn that all the way up negative so that it gets very quiet as it opens up. And again, same chord. So now it's silent. So 
So you can use all eight of these with foot controller as a source. You could have LFOs that speed up while they get deeper, uh, while uh, the pitch mod of uh, something else changes, while an effect changes. And so you can have crazy complex things with that. But it doesn't just have to be a foot controller. Like I said, it also does control voltage. Here's uh, the eight step program by Electro Harmonics. And it just gives me eight sliders of control voltage. And uh, I'm just going to hold a single note here, and you'll hear it jump through the pitches that I set on these analog sliders. But it can be on anything. It could be on filter. And then if I really want to go crazy, I can use my theremin, which the Moog EtherWave Plus has control voltage out. So I just take it from the 8 step and instead plug into the pitch control voltage out here. And now you can see that I'm using foot controller to control the voltage control filter and I'm also making the volume slightly quieter. But this time, instead of sweeping the filter, I'm adding more or less envelope depth. So it'll, I can create rhythmic patterns using the antenna. So set up something here. And now. So that's just one more very cool feature of the Behringer DeepMind 12. Uh, my name is Daniel Fisher. Thank you very much for listening. If you have any further questions, please contact your Sweetwater Sales Engineer.